<laughs> Welcome to my channel. <laughs> That's something I never thought I'd say. Um. If you don't know me, my name's Erin. I post fashion, fitness, lifestyle and recovery content. I started off posting my recovery journey on my TikTok and then later created an Instagram account to hold me accountable through my recovery from anorexia. And one of my TikToks went viral I, I didn't have that in mind when I posted it. I was just showing six months of my progress and the response I got, the support, the love, but also people reaching out to me, saying how much it helped them, motivated them. And it just made me realize that that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to start a YouTube because I speak a lot and not everyone wants to see that on TikTok or Instagram. So here we are. I thought I'd do a typical Q&A, get to know me. So I asked over on my Instagram some questions that people wanted to know. First question is, what is your dream job? Ugh, I'm Delulu. But also I'm not, because if you believe it, you can achieve it. You can do anything you put your mind to. Honestly, modeling, content creation. If you didn't know, I quit my job a few months ago. So I thought, fuck it. I'm gonna do what I wanna do, which is content creation, modeling, and see what happens, see where it leads me take on all the opportunities I can, put myself out there and so far it's going great. Second question is how old are you? I'm 18. I either get told I look 26 or 12. There's no in between. What did I want to do when I was younger? <laughs> I always wanted to be famous. <laughs> Honestly, when I was younger, I would sit, really exposing myself here, I would sit on a chair in the back corner of my grandparents' dining room and I would write songs. If anyone's heard my singing, You will know how unrealistic that was. And I think that's where my delusions stemmed from. That is part of what makes me me. <laughs> Boy in your life. Do you want to come in? I'm joking. No. Fave TV shows or books? Favourite TV shows? Stranger Things? Skins? Emily in Paris? Friends and Gilmore Girls are my ultimate comfort shows. If you know me, then you know that I fall asleep to them every single night and I could probably reset recite both of them word for word. Are you continuing to live at home or are you wanting to move out? And then there's another question that says travel plans. So these kind of fit. I would love to move out. I, I don't know, I just, I love my own space. I would love to live with someone. If anyone wants to move to London with me, let me know. <laughs> I also want to travel and I don't know whether it's best to travel first or move out and then travel. 
What made you realise that you didn't want your eating disorder to control you anymore? I didn't have a specific turning point like some people do. Um, I knew deep down that wasn't how I wanted to live and I knew that it isn't possible to live with an eating disorder. You, It's impossible. The end result is you die. And not to get deep, but that's the reality of it. And I knew that I wanted to have a future. I just didn't know who I was without the eating disorder. And that's what terrified me because it controlled my life and I almost, I felt I was my eating disorder. And the best thing that I did, I started a new Instagram and I chose to only follow people who inspired me. For example, Anna Archer, Millie G Fit, Live Living Life, Fiona Simpson. Those four girls, honestly, I owe my life to them. That's what motivated me that there was life outside an eating disorder. Do you still train slash gym much? So throughout my recovery journey, I would say the gym probably saved my life. It had such a big role. It enabled me to realise how much food It made me realise that if you fuel your body, how much you are capable of. But I also struggled with a lot of digestive issues throughout my recovery. Another thing that does not get spoken about enough, it's seen as embarrassing. So yeah, this year I took a big break. That's <laughs> so close. I took a big break from my training to try and figure out what's going on with my stomach. Um, still haven't quite got to the bottom of it. And then also I went on holiday. I enjoyed my summer. I essentially found other things I was interested in. I started socializing again, but the gym is still such a big part of my life. It's my safe space and it's definitely something I want to get more serious about again. What's the best advice you've ever been given? To not care what people think. It's so cliche and it's so much easier said than done, but honestly, something to always keep in mind is the people that judge you for doing what makes you happy aren't the kind of people that you want in your life anyway. And that's something I have to remind myself of every single day. Dream brand to work with. Gymshark. Fitness related, Gymshark. It's a dream. It's been a dream since my recovery journey started. Gymshark commented on the TikTok that went viral and I almost had a heart attack. So yeah, but also fashion brands, I'd say Motel Rocks. I have worked with them in the past, but to have like a proper partnership with them, as well as Subdued, love you. <laughs> How did you start getting into modeling? By the way, thanks for making a YouTube look. Love you. Oh, fuck. Delivery. I'll be back. So I feel like there's such a stigma or assumption around the fact when it comes to modelling, 
that you have to be scouted. You know, this whole, the whole industry is who you know. Speaking to people, speaking to photographers, um, going to events, like anyone could be a model. In my mind, if that's what you want to do, you have to put yourself out there. You can't go around expecting to be scouted. How are agencies and brands going to know you exist unless you put yourself out there? So that's what I did. I just started networking, speaking to people. I went to an event, like a photography creatives model event. And that was one of the best things I did. It boosted my confidence so much. And I'm so grateful for the people that I met. So yeah, that's all for my first video. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully see you again soon. Love you, bye.